We call these flashes, which are above 100 kilometers in horizontal extent, mega flashes, because they are essentially much larger than ordinary lightning flashes. They're much more impactful and much more potentially hazardous to the general public compared to just a regular random given flash. So this world record flash extended for 829 kilometers from Texas, stretching all the way up through Missouri. We essentially were getting a fire hose of data coming down from orbit, and it's very difficult to process that amount of data, especially in short periods of time. Moving to a geostationary lightning observing platform allowed us to essentially make a quantum leap in terms of our detection capabilities, where we can see all lightning flashes regardless of where they occur on the hemisphere. And because we're in geostationary, that means that we're able to add continuous measurements, so regardless of how rare they are. And these flashes are extremely rare, especially once we get to world record scales. We have a hope of seeing them, unlike these ground-based networks where we have to be in the right place at the right time and have an adequately sized network to do it. This adds the coverage of this type of instrument over Africa and Europe, and these locations have very interesting lightning, especially the Mediterranean Sea. This is certainly the beginning of a new era of understanding, so we're excited to see what kinds of lightning come out of this new work.